So I want to show you how to wear and style a straw boater hat and also come to the conclusion whether or not you should get one. Welcome to Fashionable Father, where fashion gets fatherly. I'm Timothy Sands, and if you're one of the lucky SOBs and subscribed early, welcome back. And if you want to get lucky, subscribe if you're so inclined. We have videos about fashion, we have videos about fatherhood, and we have videos about straw boater hats. That's right, we're talking hats this week. So I don't usually wear hats, I'll be honest, except for maybe when I go to the beach to keep the sun off this pasty face. But I do, as you well know if you've watched videos before, hanker towards a time when men wore hats pretty much on a regular basis. But they wore hats with this kind of cool grace because it was the norm. You wore a hat outdoors, that's what you did. It wasn't this glaring fashion statement. And I kind of wish we had more of that today. And it's not the easiest thing to pull off, especially if you're wearing something as specific as a straw boater hat. That's what I think I'm going to try to accomplish in today's video is not just wearing this with any random outfit, but wearing it with some grace and some style. You know what I'm saying? So if you've been around, you know I'm pretty conservative with my fashion and I don't really like that. I wish I was a little more edgy. I wish I ventured out a little more and tried things. So this week I want to challenge myself by getting out of my comfort zone because that's the only way we grow by trying this straw boater hat on and trying to wear it and be comfortable wearing it. So I want you to go on this journey with me, see if we can actually succeed styling this boater hat. Okay, so to wear this hat, you need to properly accessorize it. You don't want to turn it into a costume, but you also don't want to wear just like jeans and a button up. I think I see a lot of people wearing hats and they go, oh yeah, I'll just you know slap on a fedora and they're wearing it with their jeans and their like, you know, modern shoes. And I just, I think that's what kind of destroys the accessory. But of course, this is a very specific hat. And I'm not, I don't, obviously I could throw like maybe a seersucker suit that would look appropriate, maybe kind of borderline, you know, barbershop quartet, which I do not want to look like. I'm going to look at some of the items that I have in my closet already. I'm not, I haven't bought anything and just see if I can make this hat play and work with what I have. So what I was thinking, I was thinking either like some blue trousers with this knitted polo or some white pants and I think this is going to be more appropriate because it is kind of uh we're kind of approaching spring and this and I think you've seen this in videos before but it's like a it's a very kind of vintage looking cardigan with a white t-shirt or a button up now what do you think about accessories I love these new glasses I've got but I think this is going to look these are going to look really good right I mean come on and this I don't know what do you think Bulova watch or my new mid-century modern you know, Seiko 5, I kind of want to go that route. I feel like this has a little more of a vintage feel. Of course, to showcase the outfit, we need a decent backdrop. So we're going to head up to uh, Huntington Park. He's got his elephant backpack on. <laughs> and we're joined by the wife, that's right. When you first wear something, and I'm guilty of this, is you're always going to feed, feel that like slight awkwardness when you first put something on and you have to just get past that and wear it. Obviously this is a very specific item as you can tell. And so that's kind of part of the challenge today is to rock this with, with grace and comfort. Would you agree? Yes. Willie Shakes. All 
Arthur, where's the fairy? Uh, Are you looking? There? Oh, for there! <gasps> there it is! Where's the fairy? Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock! The bathroom door. Oh. <laughs> He's going it's to the rock! <laughs> the fairy's going to the bathroom. So I had to switch my glasses because I couldn't see anything. So you couldn't see have, anything. I don't have contacts. That's what I do for this channel. I was blind half the day. Anyways, uh, did we get a map? We did. Did we get a map, bud? Yes. Because he has been talking incessantly about elephants Elephants, today. elephants. We have no idea where he got this idea that there's elephants here, but apparently he wants to see some. Hmm. Now, we googled the answer, and there's an elephant in the jungle garden at the Huntington Library. Yes. Yes, he says. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> so, I think it's, is it a statue, or is it carved out of bushes? I think it's a statue. Alright. Let's go find this elephant. <laughs> Huntington Library, a fine establishment that it is, did us justice, yes? Oh yeah. Yeah, it was good. We did not find an elephant, it made Arthur a little upset. We tried, we earnestly tried to find it, didn't find it, and this is, this is the face <laughs> of a little boy who just lost his mind. I'm recording myself because apparently I don't talk enough. <laughs> I, I did not say that. I did not say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We were very, we're very fortunate oh, to be. They, they won't be shot on the block. Well, <laughs> 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 oh my God, we're old. <laughs> no, we're um, stuck here too now. There. Yeah, it was. Oh my God, it's called fashionable father. Oh. Fashionable Look father. Up. Look it up. Gosh, that was weird. Oh my God, you know, you, you and I could easily be their parents, but that's okay. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, I've had a rough day today, but it's kind of nice being out there in the, in the sunlight and the beauty of California and the gardens at Huntington Library. So here we are, so I'm signing off and um, I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> All right. Well, so that was a pretty fine afternoon at the Huntington Library. Pretty decent backdrop for this hat, huh? Yeah, I think I pulled it off. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below, you know, be merciful. But yeah, I think it looks good. And I think I chose the right kind of vintage look, but also keeping it modern. So a couple takeaways that I got from wearing the hat today. Uh, I do think you have to have specific items that you're gonna wear with this hat so that it will accentuate the style of what you're trying to display. You can't just throw this hat with some jeans and some tennis shoes. It's gonna look out of place unless you're rocking something that can really complement this hat and do it well. Um, it's almost like you have to go either really, really minimal without, with your outfit or you have to go very specific and accessorize it with kind of like what I did, t-shirt, a little bit of a sweater and you know, the right slacks. That being said, 
you're all you're gonna feel slightly uncomfortable when you put any kind of new item on no matter what but after I got to Huntington Library and just stopped caring, I felt comfortable, excited, and I enjoyed wearing it, which is always a good feeling, especially when you get out of your comfort zone. I've learned a lot since I've been living in LA that there is a fine line between being in a costume and wearing style. There's a lot of people here, especially in LA, because there's no rules that you just wear whatever you want to wear. And I like that. That is such a fantastic freedom. However, some people go so far that they start to look like they're a character or in a costume. And I kind of think that takes away from what style they're trying to display. So as far as the conclusion on whether you should get one or not, I say, yeah, I think you should get a boater hat. Uh, if, especially if you're going out on like a spring break or vacation, I think this hat is perfect. And yeah, you're gonna show a little style. Yeah, you're gonna be a little edgy. No, you're not gonna be conforming, and yes, you will be an individual. I saw a guy downtown rocking one with a suit. He did it perfectly. It was a perfect balance between like modern and vintage, and he wore it well, he wore it with comfort, and I think that's what inspired me to make this video in the first place. My name is Timothy Sands, and this is my story of fashion and fatherhood. If you like this video, take a look at this video. This is about my top four spring minimal shoes. It talks a little bit about what I love in minimal shoes, the sleek, minimal design, and I think you'd like that one. And never forget, always remember, style first. See you on the flip side. Bum.